Hi there, my name is Marcus. I'm the developer advocate at the Vaden Elements team. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Vaden Elements with the Polymer CLI. So uh, before you get started, make sure you have Node installed. Uh, you can just check your Node version, make sure it's a fairly recent version. Uh, with that installed, the next prerequisite that we have is installing Polymer CLI. So we'll install that with NPM. And we'll install this globally. All right. So with that installed, uh, let's go to our, I'm just going to do this on my desktop here. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it rent a reindeer. And I'll go, going to go into my folder here and run Polymer in it. Polymer init is going to ask me what kind of project I want to create. Uh, we're going to create the Polymer 2 application. We'll answer a couple of questions. Uh, we'll go with the basics here, just the uh, defaults. And that's it. So um, now we can open up this in our editor of choice. I'm going to use VS Code, but you can use whatever editor you're most familiar with. All right. Um, so if you look at what we have here, we have a Bower file with the dependencies. Then we have our actual app file here and a bootstrap uh, index file that just imports that one app file. So we're going to do all of our all of our work in here. The first thing that we're going to do is install a bond date picker. So for our reindeer renting operation, we need to select the dates. And for that, we're going to go ahead and install both the Vaden date picker and a Volo theme for that. We're going to do power, install, save. Here I'm going to use the Vaden Volo theme. We also ship uh, with a material theme. Uh, go and check out the theme section on the Vaden elements page for the difference on these and when you want to use either. All right, so we're going to install these. Take just a second, and then we can go ahead and do Polymer serve, which will start a little development server that we can use and make sure that this works. So we'll go ahead and open up the link here, make sure that we have a running application, which we seem to have. Let's go ahead and make give ourselves a little bit more space here. So the first thing I'm going to do is import these two uh, things. So the theme first. So Vaden follow theme. And then the Vaden date uh, picker theme from there. And then finally, the Vaden date picker itself. And here it's important that we include the theme first and then the component, otherwise the themes won't get applied properly. So here, uh, where it says, hello, rent the reindeer app, we'll just go and change this to Vaden rent uh, reindeer. And we'll add a couple of uh, date pickers just so we can select the date range for those. So we'll just create two new Vaden date pickers. Clone that, um, give them labels. So the first one is from, second one will be to. Uh, we'll use Polymer data binding so we can actually capture these values and show them. So we can just take the value property here, uh, bind it to a property. Let's say this is from, uh, this is to. And then underneath here, we'll just create a little paragraph and just say, you are renting a reindeer from two. There we go. And uh, let's go ahead and run this. So now you can see that we have the date pickers here. If we select the date, let's say we're going to do it from tomorrow and end on the 25th. And you can see that we're now renting a reindeer from tomorrow until the 25th. 
And there you have it. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.